Hey guys, it's Lori here today with a post review of my metal owl clock from fgnormal.com. They did send me this to review. Um, this was a great project. It is metal. I have done a clock before that was the pressed wood and both were enjoyable and um, it was kind of satisfying uh, putting the uh, stones on metal. So I loved how all the colors turned out. However, I think they could have in this little area where they just really used the pearl domes or the iridescent domes. Um, this is green behind here. So I think that would have been really pretty as a green dome to have brought out the green and maybe even a, a few color domes elsewhere to bring out more pops of the brighter colors. I mean, it's gorgeous anyway, but I just thought that might have popped some more of the colors. Um, I had plenty of stones. Here are my leftovers, and I'm going to sprinkle these uh, among some sand in a fairy garden soon, so you'll see these again. Um, the only thing I had a problem with stone-wise is that number 14, which were the little eyes, was missing. I'm not sure if that was my mistake or theirs. I'm leaning toward me because I think I may have thrown them away. So the only other complaint is I really dislike these little slivers, but they come together so beautifully. I just don't like doing them. They're, they're a little tedious, but I love the way they look in the end. So yeah, uh, I guess I'll have to give it that way anyway. So, on the back, it has all the mechanics already on and attached. I did attach the arms, which was easy peasy. You just put in a double A battery. It's even got the jute string ready to hang. And at first I was like, oh no, it's not moving, it's not working. But then I realized it's not a second hand. And so I've watched it since I've had it and I listened and I hear it. And then it's also uh, kept time. So we're good to go on that. Um, there was some overhang of the sticky a little, but I fixed that with Super Gloss Mod Podge and just used a one inch paintbrush and just gently painted over. And I also painted, just went ahead and painted over this part with, uh, without the stones, that way you wouldn't see like the shinier part around the stones and things. I just did the whole thing. So I think it turned out wonderful. I cannot wait to put this in my owl nook. Once I get all the yard sale items from there, that's kind of been our drop zone from purging our rooms. So, but I think this will be just ad adorable. I will link this in the description below and you can go check it out and the other clocks and items they have, they have so much stuff. But um, in August, there is a event happening. It's hosted by Brandy Mystery of Diamonds and it's called Smashing the Specials. And you basically work on projects that have like the special stones like this one. This would be a perfect project to get for that, so. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you check it out and, and find you something that you would like to do with special stones. And as always, I hope you get to do a little diamond painting. Bye.